this video is kind of a little addition for you anatomy geeks such as myself who actually care. What is fascia made of? What is this system made of that helps us with resilience, nourishment, health, and ease? And the simple answer is that there are two main proteins, collagen and elastin, and another thing called ground substance. Collagen is going to give you this structure that you get in the sponge here. It's going to kind of create the web that goes through our body. And elastin, those are going to be even smaller fibers that are going to give us more elasticity. So we have a structure that is both connected and elastic, gives us support and it gives us attention integrity. So now the ground substance, the ground substance is an extracellular fluid, which means it's, it goes around the cells in our body through the fascia and it's similar to mucus, it's similar to synovial fluid that's in between your joints. When you have nice synovial fluid that's all warmed up, that's going to allow for your joints to slide with more ease. So ground substance is similar. Ground substance and synovial fluid need water so that the water can bind to the GAGs that are in the ground substance. So ground substance has these glycos, aminos, aminoglycans as well as uh, proteins and hyaluric acid and these things bind water like crazy and <laughs> they help us to stay hydrated they help our tissue to stay hydrated so you want really healthy hydrated ground substance running throughout your body I'm going to add that this thickness that happens this is egg yolk right here which is actually the egg white this thickness the more I play with it the thinner, see now it's like barely, the thinner it gets. Uh, it's kind of like mucus, right? It's also like ground substance. The more that you move and the more that it has that pressure from movement, the thinner it's going to get. And the thinner it gets, the easier it is to transfer toxins out to the lymphatic system and take nutrients in to remove the bacteria that can be in the the interstitial fluids, the fluids in our tissue, and get them out of the tissue. So you want movement, and this is called thixotropy. It's not permanent, so you gotta keep moving to keep thinning. And don't worry, it won't thin away to nothing, because when you stop moving, it'll get a little thicker again. But you just want that on-off movement. I'm just gonna add, it was in the other video, and I'm going to add why water is important besides the things I've just mentioned. It gives a slippery nature to the muscle fibers, which allow them to move individually. It also helps with compression. It makes us resilient to compressive forces data in day-to-day -day life. So if you take pressure and you push it down on a system that has water that's not just free, but it's bound, that's going to then push the water from the place of compression and disperse it out to a place with less pressure. This is pretty cool. This is going to help us with our joints and all of our muscles and each muscle fiber to be able to fire separately, which is so important to the health of our being and to the energy efficiency of our being. So I hope this was helpful. This is my best understanding of what fascia is made of. It's a very, very young science. So as things continue to grow, I'll continue to update you. Be well, stay nourished, keep doing the things you love. I wish for you nothing but resilience and well-being. Namaste. And if you want, of course, check me out www.saratacy.com or come to any of the anatomy or therapeutics trainings. Peace.